Three weeks first time having a mackerel. It was a gift from our subscriber, Joker James. Looks like Ookla went for a, a mackerel right away too. Toki over there is scarfing on a turkey neck. As I always say in my videos, I like to pet and handle my dogs when they're eating. It teaches them not to be food aggressive. Good boys. Are you making yourself a little pile? Good boy. Again, just a small little effort like this of petting them when they eat really goes a long way to make your dog safe around high value food items like this. Now this fish is raw and for those who will ask, uh, don't you worry about the bones in that fish? Uh, you know, no I don't. Uh, the bones are fine as long as they're raw. It's only uh, cooked bones that are dangerous as cooking the bone changes the consistency of the bone and makes it prone to both perforations and obstructions of the bowel. Raw bone won't do that, but as I always say, you want to make sure your dogs are adequately chewing it up enough because chewing is the first stage of digestion. If your dogs aren't chewing it up enough, they will end up vomiting the food back up. As I often say, kibble fed dogs aren't really taught how to properly chew their food and a lot of times just swallow it and gulp it down. One of the ways you can remedy that is by feeding them. He's reacting to Ukla coming over, not me. One of the reasons that, uh, one of the ways that you can remedy that is by feeding them large pieces and feeding them fully frozen. That's all just canine communication. He's just telling Ukla those are his pieces. And again, you... Toki telling Nucla that's his. There's another fish over there. Again, when you see the dogs doing that, <laughs> since that's the last available fish, he's decided to go here to eat it away from the other dogs, which is okay with me. But when you see them growl and uh, snap at each other, uh, you know, that's not aggression. That's just canine communication. That's them telling each other, hey, hey that's my piece. Leave it alone. You know, a lot of times people will, mis will misread that as aggression between their dogs, you know. You know, if the dogs aren't biting each other and trying to shake each other, it's just them talking. Yes, you are. And again, you see the big difference between me coming in and petting them between, you know, one of the other dogs. You know, because I've trained them that I'm not a threat for the food. I'm the provider of it. It's especially important if you have children. You know, you don't, you know, kids don't often don't listen to their kid, to their parents, and. Uh, are sometimes unsupervised and you know you, you want to make sure that you you make your dog safe again he's growling at Toki coming in here Toki you still got a sardine here or he being a mackerel yeah. he wanted to make sure that he uh, found everything else first <laughs> Thanks for watching. Check out our merch store down below.